Daisy's wooing was something that made me adopt her. She does it when she's extremely happy or excited. She's so chatty and we talk all the time. Really? Get out of town. And she always has something to say. We have conversations throughout the day. It's hilarious. What? Are you kidding me? She was living in a backyard for three years in a kennel, just outdoors, neglected. They pretty much ignored her and only brought her out to try and breed her, but she never got pregnant. At that point, they were like, well, she's a waste of money to feed. She's so ugly, nobody's going to want her. We'll just put her down. My girlfriend tagged me in a photo of her because I had just put down my 13-year-old pit bull and I had also lost my dad, and then the next year my mom. I really believe that she was sent to me from my parents in Kalea. The first day when I brought her home, we went down the driveway and I threw some balls for her. And I mean, she was wooing on the way up, wooing on the way down. She was just so happy. It's like she knew she was home. After being in the backyard for three years, she was kind of shell-shocked to be in a house. Everything was so new to her, and she was just kind of like, huh? She just would sit there and chew on stuff, and I'd throw another stuffed animal at her, and it was kind of like, oh, another! I mean, she gave me something that I was needing. I needed something to cheer me up. I needed something to kind of reassure me that I wasn't alone. And this dog, she just came in and brightened everything up. She would kind of sense that I was feeling down and she'd come over and pretty much smash her face into mine and just start licking me. She just knew how to make everything okay. My big cat motor was just in love with her from the beginning. I have two horses of my own and she was just kind of like, oh hey, you guys are cool and big, can we be friends? take her to feed with the horses and she's like yeah let's go she thinks it's just the greatest thing ever it's a total party she was always trying to kiss noses with the horses and play with them and she would end up sleeping in the stalls Maisie is super goofy <laughs> she will get the zoomies when we come home and will bolt from the front room into my bedroom She's got this big bowling ball of a head, and I think that's part of her charm. You know, she's just such a stocky tank of a dog with just these adorable eyes and this face and these little chopped off ears. Everything about her is just like a big stuffed animal. You just want to squeeze her. Why are you so cute? Since Maisie has been in my life, she has pretty much transformed it. She brings just this new perspective to everything of just happiness. Everything is fantastic. She makes life just so much brighter and there's humor to it. What did you do? She put up with enough. And just seeing everything through her perspective is just the way that you would want to live. My parents would have gone nuts over her. One last woo. Oh, nice. You feel good.